Welcome to Trine University and welcome to the Book Off News Show. I'm your host, Stuff with T. Ravis, here at our soon to be open depot offices. But as always with us, it's another cloudless day. Or as my good friend David likes to say, Paradise isn't a place, it's a state of mind. Anyways, let's head on over to the calf and see what Blaine's cooking up for calf drama this week. Okay, I'm here outside the calf. And, uh, I don't see Blaine anywhere around here, so I don't know what's going on, but I'm sure there was no omelets, and I'm sure it was disappointing. So let's just head on over to Rody. All right, Rody, what do you got for the news this week? Well, Adam, this week I'm hijacking calf news. The drama from this week. Big deal here. The depot is set to open for dinner. Yeah. The day after Labor Day. So we are all very excited for that. Uh, today, Friday, was it the third? Yeah. There was the first Friday events in the calf. First, this is the second Friday of school year, so somebody come at me with what, what they mean by first Friday. First Friday of the month. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. And they had some live music and karaoke action going on. It was quite the party. And that's it for your non injury new of the week. Meg! Oh! Rody doing calf drama? What the heck is going on around here? Anyways, now I'm here outside of Best Hall. Vote in the comments below if you think it actually is Best Hall. But anyways, I'm pretty sure our quote of the week came from right inside that building. So let's get to it. Quote of the week this week, coming from chemistry department, and here it is. What do you get when you combine a Labrador and a Poodle? The real answer is cash money. And now, having heard that beautiful quote, we go to commercial break. Adam answers yes, sponsored by... Book Off Ball which if you watch this video up above, you'll know how to play. And then all you need to do is bring a tennis ball down here to book off and uh, start playing free to play. So that's what we're selling this week, a free game of book off ball. Just need a tennis ball, watch this video and you'll be set to play. Yes. As always, Adam, I thank you for answering yes. And now I'm here outside of Faywick where I heard the engineers almost got into a full out war. But David has more on this story. Happy Friday. And I know you're probably thinking to yourself, well, it's not even Friday where I'm watching. But look, we got the Hawaiian shirt selling. And so that means we're in paradise on Fridays. Back to engineering type stuff though. This week in the Kenny Meme chat, a war broke out between the Excel users and the MathCAD users. There's not very many math cad components, but that is what it is. And now I gotta say, they're both great, all right? You can't have one without the other. Nobody is out here trying to build their thermo worksheets in MathCAD because it doesn't have enough flexibility. But also, I can't solve a differential that easily in Excel. MathCAD's got a function for it, so it's fantastic. So all I'm saying is they're both good we can have both Matthew and Excel exist in harmony. Thank you. My name is Blake Gross and I approve this message. All right, we got a sad moment of the week this week. I saw this outside my window a couple days ago and I just think it needed to be shared because it made me very sad. Uh, as you can see right there outside my window, there is a single leaf that is brown, which means summer is officially over, but there is good news means football's back, so that's exciting. Adam answers no. yes. No! <laughs> Damn it, blue bird. You broke the first rule of quiet on set. <laughs> you shall be punished. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs>